Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on July 18th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world weather, space weather, and as well earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on the sun. As we did have that earth-facing sunspot that created, and as well the backside CME. Looking at incoming images here, southern region, lighting up a bit. Looking at the outgoing, large plasma filament on the northeastern side of the sun. Another close look here at the sunspot that created. And as well, just north of that, the bright region there in the center release some activity as well looking at the crest and cresting sunspot you can see here that left bright region that is where that little bit of activity it looked like a filament snap or eruption but nothing major thwarted our way since yesterday looking here at another light you can see all the effects as well the backside cme looked like it affected the whole heliosphere of the sun. Kind of looking like it wrapped right around out front. Even affecting the coronal hole, which dissipated. Looking at Iswa, you can see nothing new has been propelled our way from the sun since that large CME yesterday. And it looks like some energy did get involved with the coronal whole wind stream that is on its way. Looking at our real-time solar wind, and we are sitting at about 381 kilometers per second. We maxed out at about 402 kilometers per second today. No major geomagnetic activity to talk about. As well, solar flux remains low. Geomagnetic activity remains low for July 19th. Schumann residence for today looking at a power of 23. Amplitude of 35, a quality of 7.6. Looking at earthquakes last 24 hours across the planet. We're going to start out here with an early morning 5.1 in California. Petrolia, California, early this morning, reported 12 kilometers north of Petrolia. As well, activity moving into Idaho, as forecasted yesterday. Minor earthquake there, 3.7 Bridgeport, California, continuing. No major swarms today, just a continual average swarm through Markleyville and the fire region. Looking at a 4.4 there, Guatemala. And then as well today, Puerto Dominican Republic started out the day with a 4.1. Sorry, for Puerto Rico with a 4.5. And then, yeah, minor earthquakes throughout the day. So pretty busy Caribbean plate. As well, a deep earthquake here, Bolivia. And as well, Chile. And Peru. And then an interesting earthquake here. I have not reported a five point. Well, I haven't reported an earthquake here at all in the Pitcane region. And this is right on the plate boundary with the NASA plate, East Pacific Ridge. Just recently did have a deep earthquake, 561 kilometer depth, 4.6 Tonga region. As well, 4.2 here reported New Zealand. 4.7 Papua New Guinea, 4.9 there Indonesia, a couple of earthquakes here to report in Japan, 4.7, and as well North Island, 4.6, 4.5. Interesting system grinding up into that area right now, no major activity through the Aleutians, 
And then, yeah, as forecasted, watch these regions I said last night and look at Iran started the day with a 5.4 earthquake, largest of the day. And as well as seeing minor aftershocks throughout the day, a 4.3 here to report in Syria as well at a 10 kilometer depth. And as well, a 4.4 there in Greece, right out in the middle of the sea. So yeah, definite increase across the Eurasia plate. Looking here, the last seven days across the world, we seem to be a little bit evened out now compared to yesterday. No activity through Africa and Europe, but now we're seeing it. Deep earthquakes continuing through South America, San Antonio de Cobros. And activity continuing through the Caribbean plate, a little bit concerning, I would think. And as well, still very quiet through the Cascades. For large earthquakes recently, there hasn't been any kind of release. So heads up, my friends and family, Cascades. And we're going to have a look here at College DuPage satellite imagery overlooking the fire that is south of Lake Tahoe. And that is a very large fire. Looking here at night visual there, you can see just that giant black blob. And it is literally half, almost half the size of Lake Tahoe. And then there's a fire just north of that. That's even worse. Looking here at the border with Canada into BC. Fires east and west of Wenatchee and as well with many new fires breaking out across southern BC and northern and all of this smoke is heading right into Alberta so very nasty uh, air quality right now across southern Alberta and eastward as it's I mean this is intensifying more fires are lighting every day and the smoke is getting thicker every day so heads up stay safe my friends and family across the world earth is changing drastically Quick look here over Wenatchee Reserve. A couple new fires there. And then overlooking Zoom. So this is real-time satellite imagery from today, July 18th. Overlooking Calgary, you can see all of that smoke from the south in the United States being fueled into Calgary right now. And then we've also got all of the smoke coming from the BC interior. So definitely an air quality statement is in effect across Alberta and as well Washington here. Look at this insane fire that is still growing in size over Southern Oregon. And that is right by Shasta, everybody. Or no, is it Shasta? Yeah, Shasta. Yeah, I do believe that's Shasta down there. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. I'm sure there are new evacuations in order. So stay tuned to your local radio stations and TV. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes to update. Dakono. And then look at all these fire alerts across the map. Nevados de Chilean in Colombia. Nevados de Rules in Colombia. Fuego, Guatemala. Swiss de Najima in Japan. Sabincaya in Peru. Karamiski in Russia. Senge in Ecuador. Popo in Mexico. A little tsunami warning going out with that California earthquake this morning. No tsunami was imminent though. Reventador, Chivaluch. So that's about 14 volcanoes getting updated today. A lot of them in South America. Looking across the Pacific Disaster Center right now, I can't even fit all of the fire alerts on the map. Just trying to find any new fires that are being reported here, and I don't think all of the new ones are. So I'm sure this is going to light up tomorrow. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide. I will be giving an update if anything does, if there's any kind of breaking news when it comes to these fires, I will be giving you a quick update. 
So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across the U.S. as well. They had monsoon rains through uh, Arizona, Flagstaff, Arizona, flash floods going, and as well watching the waves of moisture heading towards the fires in um, Oregon. So, yeah, heads up. We do have Hurricane Felicia, who is still well downgraded, downgraded today to a Category 3, and as well, Tropical Storm Galerno. Forecast model here looks like it's going to be dying down in the long-range forecast and heading south of Hawaii. We do have a pretty moisture-wrapped system here as well, Tropical Storm Infa, who is going to be heading straight into China. In the long range forecast, definitely going to have some intense flooding conditions there through China. Heads up, Tropical Storm 10 is alive as well. Looking at an interesting forecast grinding in and out of Thailand, Taiwan. Watch for flood alerts this week. As well, Cambodia. Storms through Pakistan. As well, watch for storms heading through North and South Sudan this week as well. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteorworth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here. Home base, Calgary, Alberta. As things cooled off quite nicely last night and I think that the smoke shield is helping a little bit but definitely a very chilly start to the day and a smoke filled. And it looks like not much is going to change over the next few days. A few days of warm temperatures and most of the moisture is still forecasted to be north of us. We've got this daily evaporation rain happening across Arizona and into Nevada and Colorado. And then watching these systems. Definitely going to bring some relief to parts of northern BC, but southern BC, unfortunately not. So systems moving in for you guys, and as well a system for northern Alberta, Saskatchewan. And then a small low pressure here heading into Ontario for Friday. You could see some extreme weather, some very windy conditions. And as well a low pressure system here heading into Newfoundland for Thursday Thursday into Friday, so watch for strong winds and rain, and no tropical storms here developing in the Gulf, nor along the Atlantic. Overlooking Europe, you can see here, Thursday, it looks like that low pressure system is finally leaving parts of Central Europe. It looks like it's going to head northeastward into Russia, join forces with some more lows off of Finland. And then watch for this interesting low pressure system grinding into the United Kingdom. The long range forecast here could be some strong winds associated with that. Overlooking Russia. Lots of rain, hopefully helping the situation in Russia too. There are many fires across the pretty, pretty much remote areas of northern Russia through Siberia. But that rain there looks like it's heading towards all the fires. And then look at the West Pacific here. Two tropical systems grinding into China this week. Infa and as well Tropical System 10. But it looks like Infa could turn into a typhoon here. By Wednesday, it could be a Category 3 or Category 4 typhoon hitting parts of Taiwan, then into China. As well, overlooking uh, West Indies here, low pressure system still grinding up into Myanmar and through India. Daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea. Watch for rain to move into parts of southeastern Australia Wednesday to Friday. And as well, some cool conditions ahead of it. Doesn't look like there's going to be forecasted snow now. Yesterday there was. As well, watch for that system to 
whip from the equator into southwestern parts of Australia this week. Watch for windy conditions through Hawaii ahead of all the systems just south of the islands. And no real relief for parts of western United States. Overlooking South America, no major systems affecting you except for coastal regions, Panama. Pretty intense system there grinding through into Argentina. Overlooking Africa. As I talked about already, watch for a low pressure system to affect North and South Sudan heading westward. And we'll see if this thing actually makes it all the way across Africa and turns into a hurricane in the Atlantic. I'm going to be definitely keeping an eye on that. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere, pointing out the large systems that are grinding across our hemisphere right now. Some very interesting things that are developing across our planet, and I'm definitely monitoring them. And I will be sharing some very crucial information over the next little while when we see systems like this, pretty much the size of Australia, Antarctica. You gotta wonder what's wrong with our planet. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.